Hello everyone, and welcome back to Spectre 2. We're finally going to actually do some gameplay, which we're going to be doing a solo uh, family home on Insanity round. Uh, lately, all I've done is streams and informational videos, so we're finally time to actually do what we're supposed to do on this game, which is simply play it. So I have played this game quite a lot now. I'm level like 196, I think it said, 97, 98, I don't know. Um, so I, I know what I'm doing. And I'm not going to get too spooked, but there are chances because I do still get uh, issues with jump scares. Uh, even on stream and stuff, I, I'm just like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get scared or anything. And then out of nowhere, I'm just like, oh my god, <laughs> that actually got me. I hate that so much. Okay, we're back with pretty much everything I think I would ever need. So we're just going to sort stuff out. I'm going to take in these four things to start us off. Um... So the main goal is to look for evidence. Uh, we found fingerprints ready, which is honestly quite good to start us off. And now the goal is to actually find the ghost room with my freaking really bright flashlight. Max upgrade, large yellow, I think. And it's just very, uh oh, very bright. Luckily though, I do have several crucifixes uh, because I have fully upgraded my van. So what we can do, just come back here and wait for it to do this. It might turn on this TV. It's also ruined the book. It might turn on this TV. Maybe. It is not. Ghost, you have failed me. I thought we were good friends. You're not gonna you're not gonna do that for me? Uh let's actually swap over to goggles, because I think I could maybe finish a game right now. Um watch unfortunately orbs is not a thing. So if you look through um your evidence menu you could always just figure out what the ghost is without actually even figuring out what the ghost is so for example um if we select orbs we can't get orbs so we don't have to waste our time looking for it uh emf5 we can get right which is good freezing temperature we can't get uh and spirit box we can get so the only thing we're looking for is emf5 and spirit box which is very simple to get as long as we actually find the ghost room which is the goal of the game. You gotta actually do what the game wants you to do. Luckily, we have found the bone and the water. Uh, and the ghost wants to kill us once more. For this time, uh, I'm actually gonna hide, which is a feature of the game. I tend to forget about it because you could just run away from the ghost. But we're gonna just hide in here because sometimes I get scared. <laughs> if we if we go out right now and try to find the ghost room, I will probably die. Um, I, I tend to try to go up the stairs or down the stairs directly into the ghost, so we're not going to do that. We're going to just relax, and we're going to figure this out slowly. Um, I apologize if this video is a little bit lackluster or a little bit too informational instead of enjoyable as entertainment-wise. It's just, lately, I don't know how to be entertaining. I just talk about random things on streams and stuff, as that's all I've been doing, and hope for the best, and then I talk to people in chat. So right now... There's a cat at my door, um, which I feel bad I'm not going to be able to go let the cat in, which you could hate me if you want. It's just I know exactly what they're going to do. They're going to jump right onto my desk, right in front of my keyboard and screen. Also, um, if you ever get the ghost room in the upper staircase or any any staircase on the map, the ghost room is most likely next to the staircase. So right in here is the ghost room. Luckily, we did just get an EMF 5, which is quite good. Let's put the cruise fix down real quick. Um, we can get an EMF, uh, EMF reading from this, we can get EMF from that, we can get EMF from uh, the ghost closing the door. We can get EMF from so many things that it's honestly not that bad of a thing. Also, we have finished, luckily, already. That's that's it. Video could end here, but of course, we're not ending it that easily. We need to get some sort of challenge. Make sure also to put the ghost in. I've done this like a hundred times now. I, I always forget to actually select the ghost. Anyways, Ashley Clark... Thank you for the easy game. Um, I appreciate it. You did hunt three times, but that is okay. We have earned $471 for that, which is quite nice. And we are level 98. So I was in the middle. <laughs> I guess 96 to start, and then 97, 98. I was, I was close. Um, so we're going to, of course, go straight back to Family Home again. I believe I'll be recording a video on every other map as well. So we're going to be doing a solo insanity on Hideout, Safe House, Asylum, Trinus HQ. And I believe in a few days they're going to be updating the game to add three more maps. So we're going to have three more videos to do. And then we're going to do challenges. We're going to do sacrificing people. We're going to have so many different videos going out. So I hope that you guys at least like one of them. Uh, if you don't, that is okay. You could always comment. Let me know what you want to see. 
or you can come to a stream and um, sometimes I do a poll asking people what we can uh, do in the future. Like we're going to be doing Mimic soon. Uh, we're going to be doing Pyrophobia again eventually. Uh, maybe Minecraft in the future. This game right now though recently came out so we're just so focused on it. Which is always a good thing to be focused on a game. Because you get to just enjoy the game as much as possible. Right? To start us off we're going to actually change it up a little bit. We don't need to bring everything in at the same time. I'm going to double uh, bring this. So I bought a fourth slot. And I'm carrying a fifth item. So we're doing the big big brain strats. You know, getting our money's worth. So we're going to leave the book there. And we're going to run around, of course, and try to find the ghost room. I did just hear writing, which is very helpful again. Um, also, <laughs> these plates are the best thing in the world. If you touch them, they just disappear. They launch so fast. I don't know where they go sometimes. <gasps> oh my god, he's close to me. Okay. No. Um, they just disappear. Like, where'd that one go? Oh, it's back. Like, I, I don't know. Did it, does it land back up there? Like, I, I don't know. It just literally disappears. But anyways, we need to quickly get outside. Um, I think I saw fingerprints on the window for like a split second. So we're down again between Revenant and Spirit. I'm not sure why, but I, I don't know. That, that could be kind of helpful. Uh, we don't actually need orbs again, so I don't need that. I do want the crucifix, though. Uh, and maybe actually... um. Um, we could take in a thermometer just for extra money. If you don't know, doing the objectives is very, very good because it gives you a lot of money. Also, the door just slammed, which means maybe we can get EMF from it. We can, uh, which means we're done. We don't actually have to go back in. We have finished another round. Uh, this is what I mean when uh, some things on this game can be quite good. Like the door just slams, you can get EMF from it. Uh, a light turns on and off. Uh... A screen turns on, blue screen of death turns on. You could always just try to get EMF readings from it, which is always really good, which I feel bad. This doesn't feel like it's going to be entertaining at all, and I'm so sorry for that. It's just, I don't know how to make it entertaining when the game's very easy right now. Like, on a, on a new map, right? Uh, whenever they add the three new maps, um, I might either stream it, or maybe, maybe, just maybe, we'll do a first look in a video instead. Right? I quickly record three videos as a first look, and then we stream it, and then I'll edit the videos and release them like throughout the next day or two, just so it's like, you know, kind of exciting as it's still fairly new. Uh, also, one thing that I forgot to mention, if you guys think that the brightness is a little bit too high, I apologize. I just remembered I forgot to turn it down. I think on PC or any uh, device, you could change your brightness in the game. So you could set it to, you know, negative one or one. It starts on zero and you could just change it a little bit. Um, but unfortunately, I just have mine set all the way up. So we could see pretty much everything, even without our flashlight. I just want to say that I am a big fan of you. And I would love to have your autograph, which actually, I already have your autograph. I love your smiley face. It, it, it just reminds me of you. Oh, you're, you're great. I love him. He's he's such a good guy. Also, one other thing I just realized is... I've been talking so much that I don't think I have anything to edit out of the video. Normally when I do videos, I'm just like, yeah, ha 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 ha, I could edit all of that out because I don't talk or anything. This time, I've not shut my mouth, which is upsetting. Um, real quick, I actually want to grab the goggles. I'll come back for the spirit box in a second. I just want to check real quick. This is going to be a visual representation of how orbs work in this game. From here, um, I'm not sure if it is going to work, but it does. Uh, the way orbs work is wherever the ghost is at the moment, when it's not hunting, which means it's not supposed to be visible, when it's invisible, orbs comes off of its body. But sometimes uh, the, the ghost glitches out, which I... You know, I don't know how it works, and I hope you guys don't figure it out, because it is kind of game-breaking. It's kind of good for a tutorial, though, but this is how orbs work. It could be in any room at all. It's the same with writing, for example. If we pick up this book, and we put it under its feet, it should write in the book, because that is where the ghost is. It's the same with turning on lights, touching windows, uh, turning on TVs and stuff. Wherever the ghost is, it will interact with the environment, which is a very cool feature, the only thing is there is this game-breaking bug, which kind of defeats the purpose of it because the ghost doesn't really move then. Uh, so the issue is now, if we did have fingerprints as this ghost, we, well, first of all, we can't. But the thing is, it's not next to a window. 
which means that we would be screwed in trying to actually get it. Uh, which is kind of okay though, because it counteracts the uh, the bug of the game. Uh, next, we need to actually look for the bone and water again. Uh, maybe try to find the cursed object, which we have found it. Might cause a cursed hunt. It did not, so we are kind of lucky. Uh, we got the bone. Um, we're going to head upstairs and try to find the rest of the stuff. Hopefully he doesn't kill me. I love you. Okay. Uh, not in there. Not in here. We could check through this wall if we want. It's not in here. We could check the bathroom from here. It is the bathroom. So from here, we can drop down the spirit box. Uh, also, we could check for freezing temperatures first. It is freezing temperatures, as you can see from that little uh, breath of smoke. Which is good. So we are done with another game. That is already 11 and a half minutes. Um, but like, we could we could just keep going. Uh, let's do a fourth game. It's it, there's such an easy game that I feel so bad that there's not really any excitement. Like I, I I feel bad, but it's just how the game is. I apologize that there's no excitement. In the next video, uh, hopefully we'll actually get out like sacrificing beginners or something because that will actually be exciting because we're playing with people. Solo on games. Sometimes this is not fun, and I, I really apologize about that. Also, we are level 99. Maybe we could go until we get level um, uh, level 200, maybe? Because we're level 199. Maybe. So that's two more games. Hope you guys don't mind. This video might be a little bit longer than normal, and it's going to be a little bit more boring. Unless you guys just like listening to people talk. Um, and I apologize for constantly bringing it up. It's kind of like breaking the fourth wall. Is that what it's called? Like when somebody's... Uh, in a TV show, and they're like looking at the audience and talking. That's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Instead of acting like you guys don't exist, I am acknowledging you because you guys do exist and you guys matter. So of course I will acknowledge you. That is just the the way of being, I guess, a normal human being. <laughs> I guess uh, you know acknowledging other human beings is a, a good start. All right, we'll start with that again. Um, did not instantly write this time. Never mind, scratch that, or smile that. <laughs> uh, actually, I mean, <clears throat> smile that. <laughs> I make myself laugh. I'm a, <laughs> I have a, a really, really, really bad sense of humor. I, I truly apologize for it. It just, sometimes I'm, I'm funny. Sometimes I'm very, very stupid. It's dry humor is honestly a great thing. Um, sometimes. Uh, not all the time. Dry humor can sometimes get a little bit boring, but dry humor is is such a funny thing. Uh, if you guys know um, uh, Yogscast Sips underscore, uh, he he's the god of dry humor, and he laughs at his own jokes. And I I, I want to be like that. I want to be able to make a joke that makes me laugh. I don't mind if you guys don't laugh as long as it makes me laugh. That's important because my happiness is the most important to me. Um, your guys' happiness is also important, but. Uh, you guys need to put yourselves first. That is what is also important in life. Another main thing of being a human. Uh, and if you guys aren't a human, like if you're, your dog's watching this, your cat or something, maybe a lizard, bird, mouse, rabbit, something like that. The rabbit might have just had a heart attack like I just did, but um, hopefully everything is okay and I did not cause any murders just then. Uh, but it would be a good thing to, you know, Put yourself first okay sir i i don't i don't like the running man he's he's a really like spooky man like he's one very tall like he has to like duck to go through doorways like look at him if he stood up straight he would bonk his head on that doorway just not a cool thing because well it's it's not cool for him but it's also not cool for us because it is scary at least he's not crawling imagine a tall man crawling around okay he's stuck up there uh ghost room is here we'll drop our spirit box he should come down after us in a second. Might have gotten stuck. Uh, we can check for freezing while we're down here. Uh, it is not freezing. We'll continue running. Should stop hunting in a second. Alright. Come in here. Uh, we could try our spirit box. I do have a copy and paste for it, luckily. Um, I've had this. I don't think I've used it the entire video yet. This is the first time I'm using the copy and paste. I think it just went to EMF3 at the last second, but they did also just slim the door. Let's check. MF3, okay. Um, let's try Spirit Box. If you guys don't know how the Spirit Box works, it does not pop up in chat anymore. It pops up above the Spirit Box. So if you ever see a word come out of the Spirit Box, works on the ground, works in your hand. Um, it should be like that. Woman. 
Nice. So this ghost is a woman. We got ourselves a spirit box. Um, we need to now uh, look for a little bit extra because we have a few options. We have four options. We have, I believe, um, we have ghost orbs. We have, actually, we have every option right now. EMF, fingerprints, uh, freezing temperatures, and ghost orbs. It's not freezing temperatures as we have checked. I will head outside real quick, though, to get a, um, uh, actually, we can check this TV real quick. It is not EMF 5 yet. Okay. Uh, we can go out and get some ghost goggles. Uh, once we get ghost goggles, we could check for ghost orbs, which would be an eggy. Eggy are slightly faster ghosts, so you could sometimes figure it out before you even get the evidence. Um, they will randomly hunt for somebody uh, as long as they have a specific item, right? It's a definition hungry ghost, which is a little bit spooky. I'm going to bring in the thermometer just so I can get this objective done. Camera would be good because I do have the ability to take pictures of ghosts as well as cursed objects. Um, not fully needed as of right now, but it could be quite helpful. Um, I will bring the ghost goggles in as well just to look around for like maybe 10 seconds, give or take. If you guys don't know, like I said earlier, orbs can appear anywhere on the map. So standing right here is a good idea because you can see up the, uh, the stairs, down the hallway, in uh, the living room, and in the garage if the door is open. So the ghost is hovering around in one specific area. I keep seeing the orbs there, but that does not mean that the ghost is specifically right there. The ghost could also be on the main floor downstairs, right like right behind the staircase. Um, so we need to be careful. The ghost could come from anywhere. I believe whenever a hunt starts, the ghost actually just goes to a random location anyways. Uh, sometimes I guess they can specify like next to you, which is a little bit spooky. We already got dirty water. I think we got the bone also, which is good. A little bit worried because we're going downstairs, which is a, a not so safe area because of this corner right here. Exactly, he was down here. Um, get our freezing temperature reading. Just need a few seconds on it, and it should cross off, and we are good to go back out. So we're gonna go back out, as I said, after we turn the CV off because that is a waste of electricity. I do not support wasting electricity. I do it all the time, which is why I know it's not a good thing to do. We got ourselves an eggy. Like I said, it should have been a little bit faster. Maybe I didn't have the specific item that it does not like. Uh, but we should be good to go. We're going to try to get up on the roof. And we can look at this lovely Stay Safe, Stay Sane San Soda advertisement. Another $500, which is great. Um, just to do something real quick. I think I might have a little idea. You guys will be my luck in this spin. You ready, guys? Legendary right away. I did see one, but I did not get one. At least it's pink. Pink is better than a legendary. Pink is like just the best. Well, purple is also quite good, but pink, <laughs> pink is also good. I do like the pink. So this is going to be the last round of the video. I apologize, like I said, if this is not too good, uh, but we did just go from level 97 and a half to level 100 in about 20 minutes, which is quite Okay, uh, we did it slow compared to normal. Uh, some people are already level about 400, 500, which is understandable. I think they play in groups as well as um, play the maps that actually give good experience. So it is completely understandable that they are such a high level. But we are about to be able to um, prestige, of course, for the second time, which we will do on video. Um, I do have some news, though. If you guys don't know, Make sure to spend your money before you prestige. When you prestige, all of your money is deleted. I'm not sure if they've changed it recently, but when I prestige the first time, I lost $23,000, which was a little bit worrying. Uh, but now I have all the upgrades, so I don't need to worry as much. Um, but I do don't I, I don't have the skins. I need the legendaries. Once I get the legendaries, everything will be perfectly fine. Um, I see the plate flying around. I love the plates so much. Those plates are probably my favorite feature of the game. I just heard we got some writing. I'm um, going to take in a little bit extra stuff. We do need to bring the thermometer over as well. Sorry about not editing out me bringing everything over. Um, I think this video, this is going to be one of my first videos that I don't edit at all. I, I think this might actually be an accomplishment. I might try to do this. If we could get this video out without a single edit, maybe I'll like slap on some like slight like changes right zoom in on things like that but i i don't think i need to cut anything out i think i've done a good job for once i know you guys might not have enjoyed this but i am truly proud of myself normally i have so many like mishaps and things i need to like edit out or change or something and this time even the chair agrees with me look at it, it's nodding its head 
Like, things are perfect right now. Like, I'm so proud of myself. Uh, we got freezing temperatures, which is great. We're already almost done. If we get spirit box right here, this is going to be uh, the end. We got ourselves a male ghost that is a, uh, a demon. It is me. That's me. I'm a male demon. Of course, though, we do need to try to find the... Did I have our flashlight on at all that entire time? I don't even know. I'm going to try to find the bone. I believe it might be behind this wall. Nope. Uh, it could be in this room, then. It is. Why is there an entire rib cage in the kid's bedroom? Let me rest. No. I I, I don't need rest, because I'm the ghost this time around. Unfortunately, I don't think we could finish all the objectives. Uh, I didn't bring the thermometer in yet, which I guess we should do, because that is a little bit of extra money. But honestly, we're about to lose all of our money, so it's not really needed so what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to head on out i failed getting out but that means i'm okay because i could actually leave so we did it we got ourselves a demon uh we have leveled up to level 100 once again um it says level 101 which is a little bit spooky but i thought you could prestige again can you not uh stats prestige there we go we are prestige 2 we got iris default is a character I just received. Um, Iris Default. This is the character. Oh, that's actually really cute. Iris Riley is learning to design her own clothing. That is actually kind of cute. I I kind of like that. The reason I like Hiromi... Uh, oh, look at this character! Oh, I don't have enough money! It's a cat girl! And Braylene with purple hair! Holy crap! I didn't see these skins! Let me move! Look at Braylene! And Scarlet! Holy crap! I need to go get some money real quick. I need these characters. I will, I'm gonna go get them after this this video is done. I'm not gonna edit it or, or do anything yet. I'm gonna go get these characters first. But this is actually really cute. Like I was saying, I like Hiromi because it has that little heart on the chest. Also, I really like the hair. I might actually keep uh, Hiromi. But I do like this character. I, I like the stitches. I like the color design. Reminds me of like, um, kind of ice cream. I know that's weird, but like, I like peanut butter chocolate ice cream. And the peanut butter is the light brown and the chocolate is the brown, right? And it's combined. It just it makes me really hungry. That's not good though, that that texture right there. But anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. I honestly really, really appreciate it. We have hit Prestige 2. Uh, we did five games, which is cool. If you see your name right here, congrats. I guess you're in my server. Some people like being excited about it and I completely understand why. I, I get excited sometimes too when I see myself in other people's videos. But anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, sorry again if you did not really enjoy this. I enjoyed it though myself and that is that's a good thing. I hope you guys uh, take care of yourselves, stay safe, and enjoy whatever you enjoy. You know, it's up to you. It's your life. Do what you got to do. I will see you guys in the next video or stream. Bye-bye.